Just. Hi guys, this is uh, Pastor David Gonzalez, and we're going to have a Q&A tonight. And you know, we still are on uh, restrictions as far as uh, being able to congregate together, but it doesn't mean that we can't congregate together online. Now, we're ha having our normal Q&A tonight, but it's not going to be so normal. The first question we got back in was from a, one of our uh, Jewish uh, partners, and she watched, she said in her question, how is this night different than all other nights? Come on over here and take a look at this. This is our, this is our Messianic Passover Haggadah. Remember, most of you have participated in this, and you have this book at home. Well, over on page 11, it says, how is this night different from all other nights? Okay, it's worded a little bit differently than that. Great question. Tonight is the beginning of Passover for Jews all around the world, and it's interesting that we're holding Easter services here this Sunday. So we're going to have tonight a Passover meal, and it's just going to be Kathy and I up here, and then our staff will be uh, filming us, and there's a limited staff while they're filming us. But so we're going to be sitting down, and we're going to have all the different foods available, and we want you to do this with us as well. So uh, if you have the... If you have this book from previous years, uh, get it out uh, now and then plan on having a fun Bible study tonight as we talk about a lot of different things on the Passover. And this is the Messianic Passover Haggadah. And Haggadah, as many of you will remember, Haggadah is Hebrew for story. All right, so we're going to be having that. And so we're going to, we have finger bowls and we have silverware and we have uh, different things that we're going to be drinking out of and washing. And our staff is getting this all set up. So this is going to be really exciting tonight to have this. And so I just want you to come on back. So this is our sanctuary. This is what it looks like when there's nobody here. And we have, in the back, as many of you know, we have cameras all over. There's a camera right there. We have cameras all over the building. You may not be able to see it, but there's a camera way back there. And then we have another camera way over there. And another camera way up there. That we use all four of those cameras. And we'll be using all four of those tonight. So this is the brain center of our ministry, and these are all the cameras that we have on right now and showing different, sh different angled shots of what we're going to be doing here tonight. And this is where all of our production takes place. Everything that we have happening here in this ministry, much of the time is put together in here. So we produce our television broadcast in here. We've been producing all of our own television broadcasts since the beginning in early 1998. And we've been replacing all the equipment all the time and upgrading it. And, and now tonight, something special is going to happen. Tonight, we're going live on YouTube as we're live on Facebook and as we're live on Roku. And then... It's also going to be streaming live to uh, about three or four other platforms. I'm not familiar with all those other ones. But, again, we just upgraded the service even more. We've upgraded our services, uh, online services here for the past two years. And you know what? Uh, it appears to me that God was planning for us to be able to stream to you and many other new people uh, that we've never planned on doing before. So uh, my uh, daughter Maria, she works here and, and doing a lot of cutting and splicing. And then we have a lot of cutting and splicing going on here as well. Katie is our production manager and supervisor. Anyway, so just follow me over here. And uh, this is our gathering space out here. And normally uh, busy on Wednesday nights and Sunday mornings. But we're not busy right now, except online. Let me come on into my office, and I want to show you what my office looks like. A lot of you even come to this church don't even know what my office looks like. And so this is my office right here. And uh, one of the things you have as soon as we come in is one of the future plans that we have for the next building project is a two-story church building project. And these are all of our plans right here. And just showing the first level of the sanctuary and then the second level and all the offices and buildings and classrooms that we want to have with everyone. This was a cabinet that was built uh, by our uh, church people. They put it, they used all the wood and local uh, stuff they got off the land or their land in order to put that together. Anyway, tonight I'm going to be wearing one of these. I'll, I'll be in a black suit. I won't wear a tie tonight and I'll be wearing something like this on my head. 
and or maybe this one. In fact, this one was given to me uh, by the one by that woman that sent in that question today. And doesn't that look good, huh? And anyway, then I'll be putting on my tallet tonight as well. And and this is a this is a messianic tallet because it's got New Testament scriptures on there. This is a scripture. It says Second Corinthians. And this scripture right here, it, well, this is out of Malachi, all right? So, and this tallet has on here the zitzit. We'll talk about that maybe briefly tonight. And so when that woman with the issue of blood, she came up and touched the edge of his garment, what's really going on is he, she touched the zitzit on his tallet. And the tallet has four corners, and there's four zitzit, one on each one on each corner so there's a four of total and she just touched the zitzi for she thought to herself if i just touch the zitzi of his talent i shall be made well and that is the actual garment that jesus was wearing at that time so we're going to have all that then many of you we're going to be going through uh, the passover haggadah and we're going to have a, a little bit of fun we're only going to be doing this for an hour so we'll go through everything quickly and kathy and i are just going to chat about the rich history that makes up the Easter program. By the way, don't be afraid of Easter. There's all kinds of things out there about Easter. I will give you the etymology of the word Easter, and it doesn't come from ISIS or anything else like that. No, no pagan gods. It's actually quite an interesting transition of words out of German and Austrian and how we get it in, the, in here in the United States. Anyway, have a couple pictures here. Look, I have a picture of Dr. Hilton Sutton and his wife Joanne and Kathy and I. This is way back in 2003 when he came and ordained me here in this church. Well, praise God. Anyway, we're going to have a great time here tonight. I hope that you join us uh, for this uh, Messianic Passover Haggadah here tonight. And it's only going to last an hour. If you know how to do it, go online. If you don't know how to do it, get some of the little foods, get some horseradish. I'd like to hear everyone screaming at home. I'll be having some here tonight as well. This is Pastor David saying, God bless you. See you in a few hours.